15 things you didn't know about Canon. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hi there, Aluxers. It's always nice to have you back with us. Today, we'll be looking at one of the greatest tech companies in the world, Canon. First founded in Japan in 1933, Canon is now ranked as one of the leading manufacturers of many high-end products worldwide. With a market cap of $34 billion and a share price of $34 per share right now, Canon is probably the most famous brand in the photography industry. Not only taking their place as one of the top camera manufacturers globally, Canon has worked in the technological and medical fields where they have produced technology for products such as LCD TVs as well as medical advancements. Over time, this company has grown from a small idea into one of the largest, most influential brands known worldwide. Today, it's not just concerned with technology, but also with the environment and giving back in the form of charitable donations. Let's have a look at 15 things you didn't know about Canon. Number 1. Canon originally was known by a different name. When Canon was founded in Japan shortly before the Second World War, it was originally coined as the Precision Optical Industry Co. Limited by two businessmen wanting to bring a Japanese camera into the European-dominated market. It wasn't until much later, closer to 1950, that the developers felt the name should sound more American, hoping to make the leap into the global market. Thus, they rebranded the company as Canon. Number 2. The first prototype was named after a Buddhist god. Shortly after the company's inception, Canon produced a camera prototype to show their products. Named Quanin, after the Buddhist god of mercy, this prototype is still the original Canon camera. The inspiration for the first camera's logo also came from the god, an image of Quanin sitting on a lotus petal, engraved into the top of the plate of the camera. Number 3. Nikon and Canon originally worked together. After the founding of Precision Optical Instruments Laboratory, the two founders of the company could make a prototype of their camera body, the Quanin. However, when it came to making the lens, the two men were at a loss for what to do. In their quest, the two brought in developers from the Nippon Kogaku Kagyo's Japan Optical Industries, which later was renamed as Nikon, to develop a lens for their camera. This partnership went on until 1948, when Quanin, then changed to Canon, developed their own interchangeable lens for use with their cameras. Number 4. Canon takes their corporate philosophy seriously. According to their website, the general corporate philosophy of Canon is Kaiose, which literally translated means living and working together for the common good. Canon takes this philosophy seriously, bringing it to the forefront of their business model in multiple ways. Not only does the company work to bring their products to the world, but they also work through their charitable organization to contribute in new, different ways. Number 5. The most expensive Canon camera sold was for $45,000. In 2006, Canon released a special edition diamond-studded point-and-shoot named the Ixus 10. It was embedded with 380 diamonds and auctioned off for charity. That might not sound as much compared to the most expensive camera ever sold, which fetched a little under $2 million. If you want to learn more about it, go to alux.com. The most expensive Canon camera you can actually pick off the shelves today is the Canon EOS 1DX Mark II that goes for $6,000. Number 6. The camera was the brainchild of a movie camera repairman. The original founder of Canon had a simple wish, to bring European-style cameras to Japan. After realizing how expensive the most popular camera of the time, the Leica, was though, he took it apart, hoping to figure out how it worked. When the camera was disassembled, he expressed his annoyance that the simplest parts made up the price of the camera. Twenty years later, his team was back at work, this time hoping to differentiate themselves from other products on the market by trying to make their camera an everyman camera, consumer-driven cameras marketed towards non-professional photographers. In 1961, the new Canonet was released in Japan, causing such a stir that the entire inventory was sold out in just two hours. Years later, Canon again tried to better their products by offering the Canon Demi, a single-framed camera that was lightweight and compact, making it easier to move and to store. Number 7. Canon has won an Academy Award When it was first born in the early 1930s, what we know as the Academy Awards was started in order to recognize the significant technical products that will improve both film production and exhibition. 
40 years later, after Canon had developed a macro zoom lens made for 35mm filmmaking, it was rewarded with an Academy Award for its efforts. Only four years later, Canon again won the award for its speed motion picture lens, putting it into the same class as IMAX for its development of a format that supported wide-angle films, and Avid, which invented a revolutionary non-linear editing platform. Number 8. Canon is hoping to reduce their ecological footprint. In 2007, Canon was announced as the top company in terms of being climate friendly. In accordance with the company's philosophy, Canon prides itself on creating technology that is ecologically friendly. They also work to reduce the impact that both their products and company have on the environment. The company also takes steps to keep their carbon footprint to a minimum, making sure to reduce their negative impact on the environment. Number 9. Cameras do not bring the most profit to the company. The popular misconception of Canon is that they only deal with cameras and products in the same vein. However, despite this misconception, Canon carries a wide variety of products, including those for the office, as well as some made for the medical field. In 2007, the last reported revenue year available, only 26% of their revenue was brought in from camera sales. Interestingly though, roughly 60% of revenue reported was brought in by office equipment, including those in both the office and medical fields. Number 10. Steve Jobs Wanted Apple to Acquire Canon Back in 2010, a year before the world unfortunately lost Steve, he made quite an interesting statement. We strongly believe that one or more very strategic opportunities may come along that we can take, that we're in a unique position to take advantage of because of our strong cash position. Internal rumors at Apple suggested that they might acquire Canon. The photo company's stock went up, but the deal never went through. We have an amazing video on Apple filled with things you might not yet know, which you should check out by clicking on the top right hand corner. Number 11. The Company That Cares In addition to their environmental awareness, Canon also recently introduced the idea of the Canon Care Scheme, a charitable foundation which supports a variety of events, including charity-based events, organizations, and individuals in need of financial support. The company accepts requests in the form of physical paperwork from education, environmental, humanitarian, and cultural areas. Unfortunately for now, the company only supports charities in the UK and Ireland, but there are plans to expand its reach soon. Number 12. Not sure how to use your camera? Canon will teach you. Canon has long held a variety of workshops in order to teach users how to get the most out of their cameras. These workshops, generally between one and two days long, aim to help users gain a better understanding of how their camera works as well as the best way to use it. Instead of trying to only teach one effect of the camera, Canon offers classes for every type of shooting, from creative photography to video shooting, allowing everyone to get the most out of their camera's capabilities. Number 13. Canon keeps a virtual history of their cameras. In its time as a company, Canon has released at least 300 digital cameras in the last 100 years, with each version of the Canon camera having different uses and skill levels. Every version up to present day is available for view on demand in their virtual camera museum accessible through their website, allowing users to look back at the history of their cameras as well as seeing how they have evolved over time. Number 14. Cameras aren't their only wheelhouse. While most people think of Canon as only a camera provider, the company does more than that. Canon as a company has three major divisions, business machines, cameras, and optical and other products. The business section includes laser printers, copiers, scanners, and inkjet printers. Canon is also one of the leading manufacturers of equipment used to make semiconductors and LCD parts for TVs. They also make equipment used in various medical fields such as radiology and medical imagery as well as eye care. Number 15. Canon is always on the road to better products. According to their website, in the year 2010 alone, Canon invested almost 10% of their sales into research and development worldwide. Currently, they're in fourth place for the number of patents that they have filed in the United States alone, and are among the top 10 of patent recipients in the last 30 years. In the last 20 years, Canon has received the top 5% of U.S. patents as well, bringing their company to the top 3 recipients of U.S. patents in the last quarter of a century. Question of the day. Between Nikon and Canon, which makes the best camera? Let us know in the comments. Oh, and if you're still with us, here's a bonus fact for you. The company almost shut down just after World War II. They lost one of their laboratories partially, and there was a shortage in materials. 
It's a good thing they were able to stay afloat regardless of the situation. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.